You know, when I go to my various sundry news sources, the things I'm looking for, the stuff I want to be up to date on, the news that matters to me, is the headline at TMZ this morning. Taylor Swift struggles to shake off snot, wiping boogers on tour outfit. This is the really important stuff, guys. Doom. Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. Doom. You can follow I, us on Instagram, Twitter for GC content. Thank you to our sports on Patreon and channel membership. Yes. You follow us uh, there. Over there. Uh, so, yeah, I I uh, was talking to Indrani on the way home after that. Mm -hmm. said, she said, what'd you watch? I said, we watched <laughs> Doom. She said, oh, my goodness. <laughs> she said, what did you think? I said, it's probably the worst movie I've ever really liked. She said, isn't it fantastic? Fantastic. <laughs> I said, it's just so bad. It's great. She said, it is wonderful. <laughs> and then she said, it's a lot like Fast and the Furious. Yep. Yeah. Uh, especially the first one, because they go undercover in that one. We are um, doomed. And the first one is doomed. the first couple that I, I've only seen the first Fast and the Tokyo Drift. And those are a lot more grounded than I think they currently are. I think they've gotten a lot bigger than what they originally intended. Yeah. Because just people just expected more and more and more and more and more. You've been on the Universal Tour since they've added that? No. Oh, there's a very cool Fast and Furious part of the Universal Studios Tour. That's not what this is about. If no. you If you were talking about Doom and you're like, have you seen Doom? Patreon well, folks, no. Yeah, Patreon or channel memberships, you can watch uh, the full uncut version there already. Yeah. It will be cut up and put on uh, YouTube at some point. Yeah. Uh, but today, uh, a trailer for Kill released the upcoming um, action violent film. Not to be confused with Kill Bill or Kill Bill Volume 2. True. Uh, and this is the Hindi Red Band trailer. Uh, what? Usually Red Band means like it's uh, not meant for kids. Red Band? Yeah, so it's like an R-rated trailer. There is such things? Yeah. Who does that? Anybody that has this style of film that wants to show you the violence and right. language in the trailer. But a lot of trailers and stuff are more PG, so more people can see them. Uh-huh. But is it a YouTube thing? Is it a... Well, what's this? You, what's you, the... You, YouTube does it. Um, or um, if it's in an R-rated movie, they'll show it as well that, that way. I've never heard of Red Band. But who... who it's, been author... for, it's been around for a who's, long time. Who's... Originated this? Who it's has jurisdiction for, over Red Band? It's been a long time. I don't know. It's been around forever. I've never heard of it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Kill, uh, very look, Kieran Johar produced this film. We've seen the teaser for this film. They're on a train. It's supposed to be very, very violent. Yes. Uh, it's going to the Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles. Wasn't it, hasn't it been called the India's the most violent film in that's Indian at least history. What they're calling it. Yes, that's what. Yes, that's that's quite the thing to say. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to the Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles. Um, so that is cool. That is very cool. Uh, let me get the subs real quick because I'm not watching it in English because that's stupid. Yeah. Here we go. <sighs> Bad day at the office. <laughs> Doom! <laughs> Happy fourth anniversary. Thank you. Oh, not me. Yes. <laughs> yes! Oh! Oh my god. Nice. Hey, bitch. Oh! Ow! 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 Yes! Ow! Oh my word. What did he just do to him? He broke his neck with his leg. Just think he Oh. 
इस टूर इसकी वो लोग कुछ भी कर सकते हैं गजब विस्फोटक प्यार है फौजी का ऐसे कौन मारता है बे रक्षक नहीं सो तुम बाल देख लो Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is very much in line with what Corbin would watch as as foreplay. Oh yeah, no. that was. Um, if that's the appetizer, I like it. I'm yeah, a, I'm in for it. I gotta say, for an for for a trailer for a film that's claiming to be the most violent and bloodiest, goriest film in Indian cinema history. Uh, it didn't feel that way. It felt like a violent film, but it didn't feel like it was over the top. Well. Specifically for India, what's the most violent film we've seen in India? Uh, there's a few. There's quite a few. Which ones? Uh, well, the gangs films. Yeah, the, the, a lot of those are since it's older as well, and so they had to censor a lot of it. So, and because the whole Nawaz thing was not even shown on screen, it was it was his silhouette. Yeah, but he is taking his time. Sawing off somebody's that's, head. That's true. I'm just saying With they're the showing it all. So yeah, I, but but, I, but I what the they most... showed, what they the, for for the the really graphic stuff was a head snap, neck break, a kick, neck break, a knife in the eye. Yeah. Um. It just wasn't overtly. It, it was just underwhelming in terms of the brutality of it. I thought, oh, okay. Well, I'm, you're probably saving the rest of it for the film. But as far as the the trailer and advertising it as the bloodiest and goriest, it just. I think you're comparing it to Hollywood because India doesn't have a lot of violent films. That's that's the that's the issue. Yeah, because like I think the most violent film, in my opinion, is probably the Tamil film. What was it called? Um, it's like a one word, like Charlie or what is it? Um, I don't know. I don't know. What no, the really to. violent one um, where the, he's with the little girl. He's trying to save her. Manoj. Uh, no, I think it's the Rocky. Rocky. Oh yeah, yeah, and but and once again, love that, that, hostels pretty violent. Uh, in spurts, yeah, yeah. I think this one's gonna have a lot more, and it looked like it. Well, and the other the other thing for me was I hope it's it's uh, as much substance as it is as it is style yeah, in terms of, of yeah the, the what the I can't tell from the trailer necessarily what we're gonna get as far as story and acting and stuff like that. It's intriguing. Uh, but it just, for me, it was a little underwhelming in terms of this is the most violent, bloody. I think for, okay. I think for Indian cinema, it was very graphic. I, I do hope that they didn't show all of it in the trailer. Yeah. Um, th that would be disappointing if, like, they, they saved the, they put all the most violent parts in the trailer. Yeah. And so now we don't have these fun uh, kills. Mm -hmm. I mean, it should be a, almost a two-hour film at least, I guess. I would we, think so. We would have. Yeah. Hopefully more uh, action than a two-minute trailer does. Um, and obviously you do obviously hope that, and we can't tell until the movie comes out, uh, that it does have a story behind it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Um, you know, I mean, if, even if it's a story just like in, um, I know a lot of Indians haven't seen it yet, Monkey Man, of even though that's mostly action, there is a, a nice through line through it of of his story mm -hmm. even if it's not like this insanely complex story it's a it's, you know kind of a revenge story um and that's probably what it looks like here but the, obviously you definitely hope that but i think yeah. in terms of violent i wasn't disappointed because i think for indian cinema that was quite violent yeah i don't know i'm if, not disagreeing with that i don't think in i bet the red band trailer is not going to be shown in indian theaters uh because well it would have to be you know? Yeah, like here, you don't get 
R-rated trailers in PG films. Yeah. I mean, that's just irresponsible. You but, get you get R-rated trailers in R-rated films. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but I, I think it looks cool. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm hoping it's uh, as advertised. And uh, who directed this? Who was it? I did not see. I know who produces it. But yes, I don't. and I know who's starring in it. Lionsgate is... Distributing? Distributing. Here. Okay. Um, no. Okay. I wonder if this uh, video will be uh, limited ads because of the name Kill in the title. Probably. That's it's true. like when I, when I post something and use the word stupid on Instagram, it always says, post with this word has been flagged before. Are you sure you want to post it? And I'm, you know, I'm saying, hey, beautiful, stupid babies. It's like, oh, you use the word stupid. Stop calling people stupid. Suddenly, Rick. suddenly Instagram has become the extraordinarily Victorian mom. Wow. Way to go, big brother. Uh, I don't even know where this one is. It's not even coming up. <laughs> but there's a lot of ones with kill, right? Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't say it because. <laughs> no. Certain things you can't say anymore. Um. <laughs> okay, I don't know why it's not coming up on IMDb. Why was Will Smith on there at the bottom? Uh, under the, under uh, Kill might have a, a film with the name Kill in it. I don't know. He tried to kill Kiss Rock, Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why. slap. That's why it popped up with a slap. Uh, the most violent Oscars in the history. That's I without mean, question. It, I mean, probably true. It well, was yeah, probably true. Most violent award show in history. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that. There's probably been some stuff that happened in other award shows. Oscars, mm -hmm. I don't know. There's been a streaker at the Oscars. Nice. Behind David Niven, a man came out naked. Sounds hot. Yeah. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the trailer, if you're excited for it, and anything else we need to know down below. Josh!